kingdom animalia vertebrata the second sub kingdom of kingdom animalia is vertebrata which is further divided into five classes pisces amphibia reptilia aves and mammalia let's learn them one by one the first class is pisces which includes all types of fish they're exclusively water living animals their body is streamlined with a tapering end and is covered with scales fins are used for the purpose of locomotion pisces are cold blooded animals and have a two chambered heart the respiration takes place through gills fish are oviparous that is they lay eggs and show external fertilization class pisces is further divided into subclasses chondrichthyes and osteichthyes subclass chondrichthyes include fish with a skeleton of cartilage the mouth is in ventral position on the head and the gill openings are separate gill slits a good example of the same is a shark Subclass Osteichthyes include bony fishes. The mouth is in a terminal position on the head and the gills are covered by a bony flap called operculum. The fins are membranous structures with bony rays. A few examples of the same are herring, pomfret, and tilapia. Fish is an important source of nutrition. for the people who live in coastal regions colorful fish are also used to create beautiful aquariums the next class is the class amphibia which includes cold blooded animals these animals can live in water as well as on the land amphibians have moist skin because of the presence of mucous glands The respiration takes place through gills in larval stages and through lungs and skin in adults. Amphibians have a three-chambered heart. Fertilization is internal. They lay eggs and the tadpole is the larval stage in their life cycle. Common examples of the class amphibia are frog, toad, and salamander which are found in large numbers in various parts of the world the third class of vertebrata is reptilia reptiles are cold blooded terrestrial vertebrates with dry and hard skin the skin is covered with overlapping scales reptiles are pentadactyl but in case of snake limbs are either reduced or absent most of the reptiles have a three chambered heart but the crocodile shows the presence of a four chambered heart the gaseous exchange during respiration in these animals occurs through lungs in reptiles the fertilization is internal and the fertilized eggs are layered with a very tough and hard shell reptiles like snakes exhibit the phenomenon ecdysis or molting which is the periodic shedding of the skin examples of reptilia are lizards snakes turtles tortoise etc The next class is that of aves which includes all birds. They are warm-blooded organisms. Birds are described as feathered reptiles that have evolved the power of flight. Their body is covered by feathers but the legs have scales. The forelimbs are modified into wings. 
Birds have a strong but light skeleton and the limb bones are hollow with the internal space filled by air sacs. This is to reduce their weight and for the easy flight. Birds lack a heavy jaw but their jaw is extended into a beak. Birds have a four-chambered heart and they show a high metabolic rate. Birds show internal fertilization and lay fertilized eggs. Birds are of economic importance as well since eggs of certain birds are the protein source and an important part of the diet of several people all over the world. Their colorful feathers are used for decoration purposes. The last class of vertebrata is the class Mammalia. Mammals are warm-blooded animals with their skin covered with hair and exhibit bipedal or quadrupedal type of locomotion. Mammals have a four-chambered heart and the respiration takes place through lungs. Fertilization is internal and the young when born are fed on milk from the mammary glands. In kangaroos, the young marsupials are born at an immature stage and migrate into the pouch on the mother's body and complete the development there. There is another phylum known as protocodata. Because of the presence of notochord, phylum vertebrata and protocordata are grouped together under phylum chordata. Animals belonging to the phylum protocordata show the presence of a notochord that later develops into vertebral column in vertebrates in some stages during their life cycle. They are marine animals and are bilaterally symmetrical. Examples are Balanoglossus, Amphioxus, etc. Thus, Vitacus classification, consisting of the five kingdoms, practically entails the characteristics of every living organism on this planet and hence forms an important concept studied in the field of science.